Hey, good morning guys. Video drone by DIY 3D Tech out here today. We've got again the uh, Hubson 501S. This is going to be the first flight with the uh, Hobby Tiger batteries. So uh, uh, now one of the things I noticed that just like with my uh, 502, the battery power, I'm not sure if you can, I'm getting this in here, but the battery power just immediately drops upon power up. So I'm really curious with this on how Hubson is reading, you know, the power off of these things. So uh, uh, definitely a little bit concerned with that. So I've got 12 satellites. I've got a bit of a breeze now. I'm going to go ahead and still take it up. Um, and uh, see, I've got it in GPS hold mode. Uh, return home mode, GPS hold. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to arm it, and I'm going to go ahead, take it up a little bit, and just kind of let it sit and get its orientation a little bit, and do my typical walk around. I like to do a quick walk around. I'd like to give it, as you guys know, if you've been watching my channel a while, notice it lists a little bit. I'm kind of, I'm kind of wondering what's the deal with that. Notice how it's sitting at a bit of an angle. I'm going to have to watch that, but I'd like to give it some time to orientate itself and uh, kind of get everything set up. I got everything going pretty good. I'm going to start video recording. That circle fly mode keeps coming in when I hit that button. Uh, notice is the, the wind buffets it, how it kind of picks up a little bit. And so I want to finish doing my walk around. Again, we got a little bit of wind now. Uh, wind's picked up. I don't know if you can see it in the trees over there. See how it's wrestling the trees? Um, the copter is handling it, I think, fairly well. I don't think as good as I would have liked it to, but, you know, the relatively short sort of wheelbase, as I'll call it, or distance between props, I think is part of the challenge here uh, with it. So, uh, again, let's go ahead, because I'm still reading uh, 7.4 volts on this, but uh, I want to kind of take it out that way. And let's now. Now, why is it doing that? I'm still trying to get the hang of this. I want to. The wind seems to be affecting it more than I would have would have thought. So, because this should be heading straight, I'm sticking it straight. And notice it's drift. And she's not going too fast. It definitely doesn't have the performance uh, of the. Uh, the Phantom. So the motors are quite a bit smaller than the Phantom, so I wouldn't I wouldn't expect it to be a Phantom competitor. So again, against the wind, I wish I could track the uh, the telemetry data on this uh, because I'd be very curious to see how fast it's flying. Now I have it pretty close to the deck. I'm going to do a quick yaw round. Uh, I, I I have to say the. Uh, the FPV and stuff with the stock antennas are very limited. I can see it out there. Uh, I'm guessing it's, it's not even a thousand feet out. I'm just making sure everything is clear because I am sitting rather low in the sky. Um, make sure everything's okay. And so I'm just rolling around. Notice that I'm down to one battery already, but I'm still reading 7.3 volts or one bar. I should say one battery. Um, so hopefully that's okay. Now, the this uses AA batteries, four of them, I think as I covered in the unboxing. And uh, one of the things about it is the, the power drop, I think especially powering this bigger LCD screen, is falling very fast. I understand looking on the internet there's some LiPo mods. I think I'm going to probably do that. I am surprised at how fast it is draining these. Now, my idea was to get, uh, you know, nickel cadmium or rechargeable batteries and uh, use those. But I'm going to start bringing this back in a little bit. I haven't gotten really used to this flying. Um, let's turn it a little bit towards me. It's, uh, it, it, this is a rather punchy bird, if you will, uh, compared to some of my other big ones. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see in the camera. There's a lot of glare in the hat cam. So I want to... Uh, I'm trying to figure out. It's also very hard to see the orientation on this guy. So, uh, 
trying to figure out where it's pointed. I, an arrow on, on the uh, FPV screen would be really, really nice, just to show me where it's pointing, other than having to know where the camera's pointing. I want to bring it in back over to land a little bit. Uh, and I'll just, just make sure the beach is clear as I bring it in. And uh, I should be pointing at myself, so it should come directly towards me. But, but as I as I step forward, it's definitely not. It, it, I don't know if you can see it. It's definitely in the sun, but you're probably seeing it in the video. The way it's rocking, again, just want to make sure the beach is clear and I'm looking into the sun. So here we have here we have it, and I thought it was kind of pointing at me. Let me. Okay, so I think you can see me in the picture. I'm my, I'm a little bit sun blinded because I'm looking at the sun. So if I push the stick forward, it, it's sort of coming in. But watch when I watch when I push the stick forward. Look at the look at the tip. Look at the angle of that. Uh, hopefully you can. I'm getting this in the picture. If I go backwards, you know, part of this is again I'm facing a pretty good size wind. And hopefully I'm not getting too much wind noise. I'm getting a lot of wind in my ears. Uh, just making sure everything is clear. And again, I'm kind of interested to see how this is working. I'm not sure I was getting video. I think I think that was recording video. But let's go ahead and bring it down a little bit. So, okay, so it's stable. I want to bring it down. It, it's jumping up as I'm yawing it a little bit. And so I'm down to about one battery on the controller. And I've gotten about two flights out of the controller. Now, one of the things I want to do is do a quick yaw and see how it handles the yaw. So it, it is walking a bit as it yaws. Although, and when I release the stick, it does seem to jump, want to jump back up. Uh, it's not toilet bowling, though. I don't see it really toilet bowling here. So that, that's actually a good thing. So I want to do a little bit of a walk around. And uh, again, I'm, I'm wondering, I'm going to have to look at gyro calibration maybe a little bit. It's still tipping a, a, a little bit uh, up there. And, and again, I'm just kind of... Now, I don't know if you can see it. I'm at 7.1 volts. And uh, it's got zero bars left on the battery. I'm not sure what the flight time is. I'm going to bring it down a little bit uh, and do a catch grab. And... Uh, yeah, this being a little bit difficult to do a catch grab. Ow! That's a little bit dangerous. That did catch the end of my finger, and I do have a cut on the end of my finger. So that that kind of hurt. So uh, you can see the I now have a blood blister on the end of my finger, and that just nicked the prop. This is one of the reasons, and now it decided it wants to start back up again, and I thought I disarmed it. So this is one of the things you have to be careful. These will hurt. Uh, so there's a live demonstration, kids. Don't do that at home. I'm going to have to figure out a little bit better way. Also, one of the things I'm going to do with this guy is I am going to build extended landing gear for it so I can bring it down on a landing pad or something like that. But uh, definitely, I'm not really suggesting uh, grab landings on this guy because, uh, yeah, that stung. Um, so anyways, hopefully you found this video interesting. Uh, another great flight of this. Again, I'm trying to get my feet wet a little bit. One of the things I noticed when I powered off, it's gone back up to one bar. Um, so, again, very much like its uh, little brother, the the 502, when you do fly it, um, you know, one of the pieces is, is um, I, I, don't, I don't really trust the battery monitor. I think I'm going to fly this more in flight time. Now, um, 7.3 volts is what I'm reading on the screen right now, and uh, I think this is a 7.4, so I should be getting a bit more flight time on this than 
battery indicators uh, saying but one of the things that I'm doing is uh, I want to make sure um, you know how crash isn't a drink I just paid 300 bucks for it so I really don't want to put it in the drink so anyways hopefully you found this interesting you learned a couple lessons if you're thinking about one of these hey the link is below for this I probably put a card up there subscribe buttons coming up let me know in the comments what you think um, as I show you the good, bad, the ugly, and uh, again, I'm having a lot of fun with this little guy, uh, flying it around and different things. So, but uh, I think um, just in summary, uh, lipo mod for the controller is going to be a must. Again, two flights out of it, and the four AA batteries are dead. I'm going to have to play around. Uh, FPV range is pretty limited. I think it's at about 200 meters, and I think that's about it. Uh, is about 200 meters, 600 to 1,000 feet. As out about 1,000 feet, and um, you know, it was starting to get a little bit flaky. Uh, so, again, I've got the modification, modified antennas up here to go on. So I'll look for a video on that. And uh, I'm going to build some landing gear for this uh, bad boy so I can put it down on the sand or a landing pad. So, But I wanted to get some test reviews out for you guys of this flying with the Tiger battery. Um, I'm not sure the Tiger batteries did any better than the stock hubs and batteries uh, did. But, hey... Um, I think they did okay, so I'm happy with them. They were pretty economical too. So uh, give this guy a thumbs up. I do. So and uh, comment below. See you next video. Cheers.